Today, our group will be have a presentation about the company financial analysis, China Mobile Limited Company. We have five group members, Liu Dan, Xu Jing, Xue Diayue, Han Xi, and Xu Meng. Here is our table of content. We have six parts of our presentation. Brief introduction of the company, co-business of the company, ratio analysis, identify important activity of the company and the conclusion and we also have the reference here is the first part brief introduction of the company china mobile limited was incorporated co in hong kong on 3rd september 1997 the company was listed on the new york stock exchange and the stock exchange of Hong Kong Limited on 22nd October 1997 and 23rd October 1997 respectively. Next. As the leading telecommunications services provider in mainland China, the group boasts the world's largest mobile network and the world's largest mobile customer base. In 2015, the company was once again selected as one of the IT Global 500 by Financial Times and the world's 2,000 biggest public companies by Forbes magazine and recognized again on the Dow Jones Sustainability and Emerging Markets Index at the present the company's corporate credit ratings are equivalent to China's sovereign credit ratings, namely AA or Outlook Negative from Standard and Poor's and AA3 or Outlook Negative from Moody's. The company operates in all 31 provinces, autonomous regions and uh, directly administer and uh, municipalities throughout mainland China, I mean Hong Kong special administrative region. Furthermore, the company owns 99.97% uh, equity interest in China Mobile Group Device Company Limited. A 92% equity interest in China Mobile Group Finance Company Limited and a 66.41% equity interest in Aspire Holdings Limited. As of 31st December 2015, the group had a total staff of 438645. It's a big number. And kept a leading position in mainland China in terms of customer base, which reached 826 million. The company's majority shareholder is China Mobile, Hong Kong Group Limited, which as of 31st December 2015, indirectly held approximately 72.72% of the total number of issued shares of the company through a wholly owned subsidiary, China Mobile Hong Kong Limited. The remaining approximately 27.28% was held by public investors. Now I will talk about the core business of the company. The first is white service. Their white service refer to the business where their customers make and reserve calls with a mobile phone at any point within the covered area of their mobile telecommunications networks. The service include local calls, domestic long distance calls, international long distance calls, intra provincial roaming, interprovincial roaming, international roaming, and the voice value added service. Their voice value added service mainly include corner identify display, corner restrictions,
call waiting, call uh, forward, forwarding, call holding voice mail, conference calls, and others. And the data service. Their data service include SMS and MMS, uh, wait, uh, waitlist data tra uh, traffic, applications and information service. SMS and MMS. SMS refers to service which employ the exciting resource of telecommunications networks to deliver and resolve text messages, include, include subscriber to subscriber messages, Mountainlight based short messages and others. MMS is a service that allows users to deliver messages. Combining group, group graphics, songs, text, and modern pictures over well uh, waitlist networks, waitlist uh, data traffic. Waitlist data traffic uh, include mobile data traffic, uh, mainly mobile phone data traffic, download data traffic, the Internet of Sim data traffic and so on. Uh, WLAN data traffic. Uh, applications and information service. Applications and information service include mobile music, mobile paper, mobile reading, mobile video, and uh, mobile market, and so on. Mm. Here, I will talk about the ratio analysis. Refers to the China Mobile Limited Annual Report 2013, 2014, and 2015. There are four ratios cannot be calculated. Inventory turnover, average payment period, fixed payment coverage ratio, and the market or book ratio. First one, we calculate the current ratio. The current ratio formula is current ratio equal to current asset divide current liabilities. From 2013 to 2015, the current ratio has the downward sloping trend from 1.26 decreased to 0.98. Second one, we calculate the quick ratio. The quick ratio formula is the quick ratio equal to current assets minus inventory divide current liabilities. From 2013 to 2015, the quick ratio has the downward sloping trend from 1.235 decreased to 0 0.955. The average collection period, the average collection period equal to accounts receivable divide account average sales per day. From 2013 to 2015, the average collection period has the upward sloping trend from 9.464 days increased to 9.69 days. The total asset turnover. Total asset turnover equals to sales divide total asset. From 2013 to 2015, the total asset turnover has the downward sloping trend from 0.54 decreased to 0.468. The debt ratio. The debt ratio equals to total liabilities divide total assets. From 2013 to 2015, the debt ratio has the upward sloping trend from 32.27% increased to 35.54%. And the times interest earned ratio. Times interest earned ratio equal to EBIT divide interest from 2013 to 2015. The times interest earned ratio has the downward sloping trend from 15.725 decreased to 50.142. And the gross profit margin. The gross profit margin equals to sales minus cost of goods sold 
divide sales. From 2013 to 2015, the gross profit margin also has the downward sloping trend from 90.26% decreased to 86.64%. And the operating profit margin. The operating profit margin equal to operating profit divide sales. From 2013 to 2015, the operating profit margin has the downward sloping trend from 21% decreased to 15.40%. And also, we have the net profit margin. The net profit margin equals to earnings available for common stockholders divide sales. From 2013 to 2015, the net profit margin also has the downward sloping trend from 19.33% decreased to 16.26%. The earnings per share, the earnings per share equals to earnings available for common stockholders divide number of shares of common stock outstanding. From 2013 to 2015, the earnings per share has the downward sloping trend from RMB 6.05 decreased to RMB 5.30. And we also have the return on total assets return on total assets equals to earnings available for stockholders divide total assets from 2013 to 2050 the return on total assets has the downward sloping trend from 10.42 percent decreased to 7.60 percent and the return on equity Return on equity equals to earnings available for common shareholders divide common stock equity. From 2013 to 2050, the return on equity has the downward sloping trend from 15.43% decreased to 11.79%. Uh, and we also have the price earnings. The price earnings equals to market price per share of common stock divide earnings per share. From 2013 to 2015, the price earnings ratio has the upward sloping trend from 13.29 increased to 16.51. Identify important activity of the company for the past years which had contributed to the big change in a particular ratio. From 2013 to 2015, the group grabbed the opportunity and directed its results, focusing on full tree development established their leading aging in 4G market. Operating revenue continued to grow virtually the industry, whereas strongly compressed selling and administrative expenses comprehensively promoted operations with low cost and high efficiency. The group remains industry leader in profitability and continuously created value for the shareholder. About the conclusion, in our group opinion, as the province ratio calculated, most of the ratio are shoot downward, sloping trend. For in instance, the net profit margin, gross profit margin, and also the operating profit margin, and so on. The Prospect, prospect of this company is not really hopeful as the investor we are afraid of our invest, investment has a risk, risk. If we invest this company, therefore we will not to invest China Mobile Limited Company. 
Here is our reference. Thank you.